and living your faith out the best you can. Because it's going to be a great crossing. And I've seen members of our church that have passed on to heaven, to glory. And I've been at the hospital beds with them as they passed on. And I, and I looked at them and, and I could tell when I said to some of them, the race is done. It is time now for you to receive your prize. And when I saw their eyes and they looked back at me, I could tell there was a sense of peace. I think you know who I'm talking about. I mean, there's been... And, and it brought me to tears because I knew that they knew for sure that they were going to be in Christ's arms and I'm still down here on earth. <laughs> you know, it's kind of funny being envious of something like that. But the thing is, is that... I had to pray for forgiveness, of course. But the thing is, is that we all will cross that finish line. And if you are lost, I'm not talking about so much in this room, but on the videotape here, if you're lost, today is the day to be saved. And that's an eternal decision that is made by you. And I will come to the invitation here. And we need to make sure that we take on that prize, cross the finish line, and if we're unsaved, today is the day to be saved. If you're saved and your life and your witness is somewhat grown cold or lukewarm, heat it up. Heat it up. Time to set it on fire. So that's the time too you can think about. But it's also a time then to thank God during this invitation for what He's done for us and our salvation. And in faith we can move on and press on like Paul did even to the point of his death. So I'm going to close today in, in the closing prayer. We'll sing a couple bars and then we'll go into our invitation hymn. So let's pray. Dear Father, we are so thankful for your love. We're, we're thankful for our Savior Jesus Christ who died on the cross for our sins. We're thankful that our Savior then rose from the dead and ascended to heaven to sit at the right hand of you, my Lord and Father. And he, Jesus, is interceding for us and for me every day, all the time. He is faithful and sure to be our mediator. But Lord, we know that in order for that to happen, we have to be a child of yours. We have to understand that you died for us and believe what you did for us and then call on your name, accept you as our Lord and Savior and press on to that victorious prize when we can rest in your arms in heaven. Lord, thank you so much for everybody that's here today. Thank you for your word and how it speaks to our heart. May we go into this week alive for you. May we go into this week as witnesses and seek out the opportunities to share and show the love of Christ in our work, in our way, in our talk, in our thoughts. Thank you so much, Father, for the love and grace that we have in you. We pray this in our Savior's name, Jesus Christ. Amen.